Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernardo from the BJ Tech News, the only place where you can get your daily tech report, tips and tricks on hardware and software, and also geeky related topics. Now, uh, it is already Thursday, Wednesday, I believe on the 26th, where soft shout out the 8.1 preview to everyone. And you needed Windows 8, and uh, you needed a Windows 8 machine to push it out. The problem was, I wasn't able to do a full first boot with you guys because it wasn't working for the virtual machine so I was having issues so I had to wait today Thursday on the 27th for the ISO so I'm gonna place this link at the bottom for you guys so you go go check it out uh, you can click on get it now and at the very bottom you could just download whatever version of ISO you want the 32-bit 64-bit Microsoft was nice enough to provide us a product key to do testing but before uh, you start downloading and installing or upgrading what you know your Windows 8 machine I want you guys to keep something in mind Windows 8.1 will be free it's gonna be a free update for Windows 8 right Windows 8.1 would be offered through the Windows App Store which would be today uh, oh, I think it was yesterday uh, even though you, yesterday you needed like a trigger for it to start so that, that was the whole installation that was happening yesterday uh, today you know you got the ISO which is awesome and also if you upgrade to 8.1 preview you can't upgrade from that to the final release later this year again if you up if you use the 8.1 preview on a machine that has Windows 8 already you're basically locked so when they when Microsoft finally releases 8.1 this year the final release with whatever bug fixes they find uh, you are not able to upgrade to it okay so let's get started now I'm using VM workstation to do all my testing I already mounted the ISO and let's start this up let's start this virtual machine up and starting up awesome got the little nice little beta fish that a lot of people have told me about I never knew that I found out about uh, three or four days ago that it was a beta fish uh, supposedly the beta fish came out on Windows 8 but I never noticed it so that was pretty strange uh, real typical you got the Windows 8 you know setup dialog box I'm gonna hit next on this I'm gonna hit install my virtual machine is pretty small it's not huge I gave it only 10 gigs again it's a small machine I don't really need like a huge uh, 60 to 70 gig hard drive uh, it's requesting me to enter the the product key and we're back so the product key is entered so I'm gonna hit next It's gonna verify it. hopefully the product key is typed correctly I sometimes do that by mistake uh, I accept the terms hit next I do I want to do a custom install I do have 10 gigs it's not giving it's not going to give me a warning so that's great alright let's hit next and uh, let's just let it ride and see what happens and we're back guys okay so it looks like it wants me to personalize my PC this is very common if you guys have used uh, Windows 8 or install Windows 8 again it's nothing has changed with the installation part so I'm gonna give it uh, BJ Tech News dash PC I want to get a next and I am going to do user express settings and right now it's checking the internet connection that's awesome. Hopefully, I can get an internet connection. Now, I need to set up my account. So, that's cool. So, let's give it some time. I'm going to skip this for now. Hit next. Uh, I'm not going to use SkyDrive. Just create my account. And we're back, guys. Uh, first boot <laughs> installation is completed. So, uh, a couple of things about Windows 8.1. You know, let's face it, Windows 8 was not very popular at first and while there were a ton of really great enhancements and boosts and speed boots under the hood the paint job made people very upset okay uh, the new metro start screen was not only forced on everybody but you could barely customize it plus they, re they renamed it from metro to I believe modern uh, which left everybody even more confused they kept on changing the name the biggest complaints were the removal of the start button, the start menu, and the, and the fact that you could no longer boot into the desktop. Like right now, it didn't boot to the desktop. Uh, everything else was really unimportant. So what are the biggest new features with 8.1? 
Well, the start button is back, which I'm going to show you guys. Start button is back. Okay. Although it does open the start screen, which just this is what I just showed you. Uh, but there is no start menu. Okay. It boosts to the desktop, which is an option now. Okay. I'm going to show you guys that on a future video. Okay. Uh, again, let me say that again. To boot to the desktop is an option. So automatically when you log in, it's going to take you to this, to the start menu. But there's an option that Microsoft uh, did that you could uncheck. And then when you log in, it will boot to this. Now, search is unified. Basically meaning that the search engines on Windows 8 was just awful. Uh, spitting different searches into different sections that made no sense. Which a lot of people complain about that. Now it is unified into a single search engine as it was in Windows 7. So that's awesome. I'm, I'm assuming indexing is, is approved a little bit better on within the hard drive. Uh, better start screen personalization, which a lot of people complain about that. The experience is much improved this time around. Uh, you can customize the tile size a lot more. So these guys, you can customize it. As you can see, you got real small, medium size, law, uh, little rectangle box and then you got more of a longer square box uh, there are a ton of there's a, a bunch of other improvements within Windows point eight which I'm not gonna go over with the first boot with you guys because again I'm gonna be making future videos of all the enhancements and what I've seen and what I got I think the first video I'm gonna show you guys is when you first log in rather than getting into this I'm gonna show you how to get into this so hopefully you guys enjoy the first boot with me uh, hopefully you guys uh, please leave comments right below I do appreciate the comments let me know what you think about uh, Windows 8.1 what what is what's your two cents how are you feeling about the whole start the start button and the other enhancements that Microsoft did with the new operating system uh, also give me thumbs up and I catch you guys on the next video peace out